All right, let's flip some cardboard. Uh, it tells you what you cards you have in your hand, what you use, I guess. Just helps you remember your outs. Your soul shall be mine. I think I want two and three drops. I probably could have kept the uh, what was it the drain soul? Job's right. done. Burn the fires. Hello, candy cane friend. Looking forward to the fire. It's a priest. Draw a card. Scar, what nice. You are the shadow's puppet. Power here or shield or something. Oh, that sucks. I think I just. All right, I throw that. That definitely dies, which doesn't seem great. If not next turn, I can throw it, kill something with that, or with this guy, or I start to hit curve with that. Edner Dragon. And this lets me tap also. Cards so I have seven. I should probably tap first, you know what I'm thinking. Because if I tap and draw Drain Soul, I just kill it and feel better about life. So if I'm gonna tap, I should probably just do that first. Because it gives me new options. Another power word? That was a power word, was it? Shadow word. Huh. Yay. drop power or I drop two creatures or that grabs a lot also I wonder and this even if they kill this guy and leave off a one one I can chain my defile I'm not using all my mana but I can always drop him as a trade surprise the dark path is my I don't know if this is good value or not I still got a lot of removal left in my deck too, and bone mares and all sorts of stuff. That's probably okay if it blocks whoever it is. So, probably don't throw it on the top. I do want that dead. One, two. So they can make it a five, five next turn. Possibilities. So I can hit that for one trade. I try to protect with him. I think just swap protect. So I mana see what I draw. For the master. I could have seen what two drop I get him. All right, just two two.
I should not have thrown out that drain so early. Could have just kept that and made it a lot smoother. I also am not thinking about positioning at all. Mm -hmm. I don't know if Priest has any positional cards to worry about. Jeez. One of my Siphon Souls would just be great. So I can actually clear board of Defile. Then play him to clear up the minion. To, oh, that minion still gets destroyed. So we one, two, three dies is one, one, four, kill that. And that five mana to mess with. So many possible. Other option is Fungal Mancer. But I think this is honestly just stronger. So For the Master. So board clear. Unleash me. Job done. Play a strong guy. So I want to play the. Th My gut wants to play the three drop. We just get a two drop, and then I fungal mancer trade. Have this guy up still. And have a 5 6 and a 2 2 to trade with. Next track to protect with chain so game. Many possibilities. A priest ranger will offer you aid. Mushroom power! Your soul is I don't want to leave stuff on the board for him. I've got 17 cards. I've still got a lot of removal to draw. Oh, that kind of sucks, but. Ooh. Alright. I can either play him, have one threat. Play Chain Gang, him, get a bone there, and have a potential draw engine that's protected. Could also play Chain Gang, I that guy, that. and tap, and then I can use his ability with the bone mare. I've got seven cards. That's probably what I do. I guess I'll tap first, see what I draw. That doesn't change my plan. Take care of that guy. A bone mare. Make that wow. so five seven. Possibilities. Kill that. Kill that and hit. Just that thing. See if I lose my B or not. And I can live with that. He's got four cards in hand. <laughs> Alright. Clears one thing with it. I'm not too worried about that. So now I can just put build board. Alright, 
So no matter what, I'm gonna hit. Let's just hit. Let's just do I tap and make strong guy. And next should also be able to siphon if I need to. P tap, strong guy. Don't know if I need the cult master, but it's damage. Or instead of tapping, I do. So many possibilities. Put this apple on your head. So see, I have another, another way to clear. So I think I'm gonna hit enough removal that way he plays isn't really gonna matter. Just need the pressure. Synergy with that. So you got MC Tech. Guess it's nothing too strong to take with it. Oh. Do five, six, seven. Trade those two. Get three one ones, and I just wipe them all out. I'm still in control. I think I play this guy first. So it doesn't do end of turn from left to right. Does it do right to left? That seems fine. Got 12 damage on board. If it doesn't remove or heal up, he dies. In the light's name. So he's gonna at least heal a little. In the light's name. Oh, four, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Your soul is mine. All right, that went well. I guess I got greedy with the seven, seven. Gave him a real good option to, because it's a good idea to do that during game anyway. Write down what you have, what you've played, kind of mark it off, and this just does it for you. I like tools like that. Okay. Huh. Skip that. Thanks for throwing that up there, though. So unwilling sacrifice, don't really need half time removal. Just do I keep the Drake or not? I'm gonna keep it. Hope to draw a two and a three. There's a three. Just double trades in. I 
I'm more than fine with that. Grand curve, see what I get. Oh, protection, nice. Alright, so what do we need to play around? Explosive shrap. Is he just gonna multi shot or something? Gonna double hit him. The chain game from protection or get that for when he kills my creature so I keep drawing. I think I just want to play power. Job's done. Case explosive shot. Doesn't kill my dude. Who are you? If he heroes powers, that'd be great. Means he doesn't have much to do. Ooh, got my five mana guy. I meet you. Ah, bastard. So that would be good, because that kills two of his creatures. I play chain gang, he just can trade those two and do that, and I still wind up with him alive. I have to deal with those two. So many possibilities. No, no, no! Yes, yes, yes. Explosive shot. It's over here. Job's done. Mac explosive shot that and trade in, but. If he does that, afterwards. I have one three toms. So nice to get on the first drop. Oh. draw that would be good train soul would be real good mm. four drop this guy would be nice but can also just run protection can also hit and see if that just gets buffed RNG. Nope. Oh. Your soul is mine. No point throwing that there. I don't know if I should really protect that or not. Oh, I could have thrown in, it does one damage. I'm a dope. <laughs> Paying attention to my abilities on board. I guess just trade dragons. Do I start trying to draw cards with this? I may as well at some point.
Well, for good or bad, even if you took control of something with MC check, I have nothing ultra strong on the board. And nothing that I can't answer. Alright, that's fine. I have two siphons. I think I just. I should probably think about it. But 4, 8, 9, 10, 11, 14. Hit face, siphon that, and clear his bowl next turn. Or at the end of the turn. I should tap first to gain the health. There's no reason not to tap there. Man, this guy's good. Board clear and a body every turn. As long as I remember to use the ability, or not use it, but think about it. I bring life and okay, I think you still dry, still die. I had another siphon. Only 2 0, but at least the deck feels good. Guess keep to 5, rid of those two. Rid of the two high cost cards. I mean, it's great on curve, but. Hey, dude's got bling. It's gold. There we go. I'd like to draw. Eh. Like a different three drops, like try to save the battle cry, but as far as I know, stuff like Hoarding Dragon and Bone Drake, that type of stuff, I think is fairly common to keep. How do I turn those ads off? Or do they just pop up all the time? Done. Job is done, friend. Thanks. Are you? I doesn't have to tell me too. Oh, the warlock already know that, but that's got everything. Next turn I can stay on curve, but I don't have to. He didn't have a play, so. A real stinker. Oh, give a friendly minion spell damage. Also, oh, I'm an idiot. Okay. I think no matter what I draw a card. Well no, because if I defile, everything dies anyway. So I just a real stinker. I probably should still draw a card. Clear clear. So I should have played the gas prop first, because then I have spell damage. Oh well. Mushroom. Because I play him at clear one, but then he just trades both into this, and I really gain much of nothing. Clear the board, build my own. A 1 3 lazy thing. Dire Mole. Ooh.
I honestly think I play him. Play him, he's fortunate, he hits, he's down to two. Then I can just hit in, play that guy, and kill his guy, and save my safe and soul in case things go horribly wrong. Like I give him a gastropod. See, I should have played that. I forgot that he makes a minion. I could have played that and traded. Kill that. He's gonna be five. So I have. Aren't you a dragon? That'd be so much better if you were a dragon. Ooh. Ooh. Just keep the board. And what's he gonna have? Twist another? Just keep them safe. Alternately, could make two, two, threes. Or that's not worth siphon souling. So I already have to invest a card just to take either of those out. Either my big creatures. If not, I can free trade next turn or just hit them for a ton. Like 19. Okay. Fine, because chain gain is still good. I don't think I play around MC attack. I think I just. Now, this is what's gonna happen. I'm gonna tap and have my second uh, wave clear guy. Spickle Dreadlord's gonna be up. Nope. Searching for answers. What does he have? A, a defile would be really good for him. So he could defile and rebuild his board. You win this time. Win. Hey. And that has been the first three games of the arena run. Three wins, zero losses. Just as perfect as one could hope for. So hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, feel free to hit the like button, um, subscribe, leave any comments you have below. Let me know what you liked, what you would like to see added, or other formats you'd like to see. And if you didn't enjoy it, the dislike button is down there as well, and you can leave any constructive criticism that you have right down in the comments as well. I'll make sure to take a look at it. So please join me for the next video for the next three games in this arena run and until that video i've been your dad thanks for stopping by and i will see you shortly